Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer as we come to celebrate one of the great patrons of our parish, uh, Pope St. Pius X. I mentioned yesterday when we were celebrating uh, Bernard of Clairvaux that it seems a shame often that we reflect on their dates, their times, the, the facts of their life and not um, so much perhaps on what they've written. I wanted therefore this evening to, to read from something of Pope St. Pius X, a pro <coughs> excuse me. It's from today's Office of Readings, if you wanted to read uh, the full text. And it very appropriately, as we gather this evening for our evening prayer, reflects on the Psalms and the great uh, joy and insight that they give us into that relationship with God. He writes, the collection of psalms found in scripture, composed as it were under divine inspiration, has from the very beginnings of the church shown a wonderful power of fostering devotion among Christians as they offer to God a continuous sacrifice of praise, the harvest of lips blessing his name. Following a custom already established in the old law, the Psalms have played a conspicuous part in the sacred liturgy in itself and in the divine office. Thus was born what Basil calls the voice of the church, the singing of the Psalms, which is the daughter of that hymn of praise, to use the words of our predecessor, Urban VIII, which goes up unceasingly before the throne of God and the Lamb, and which teaches those especially charged with the duty of divine worship, as Athanasius says, the way to praise God and the fitting words in which to bless him. Augustine expresses this well when he says, God praised himself so that man might give him fitting praise. Because God chose to praise himself, man has found the way in which to bless God. He goes on to talk about the way in which he finds this uh, uplifting. He asks the question of would not anyone's emotions be roused as they come uh, to sing God's praises in the Psalms. We pray that this evening we may have that experience of raising our hearts and minds to God as we reflect on the Psalms and on the example of Mary and the way in which she gave her life. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it, <coughs> be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, <coughs> Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> o 
God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Who are these like stars appearing, these before God's throne who stand? Each a golden crown is wearing, who are all this glorious band? Alleluia, hark they sing, praising loud their heavenly king. Who are these of dazzling brightness, clothed in God's own righteousness? These whose robes of purest whiteness shall their luster still possess. Still untouched by time's rude hand, whence came all this glorious band? These are they who have contended for their Saviour's honour long, wrestling on till life was ended, following not the sinful throng. These who well the fight sustained, triumph through the Lamb have gained. These are they whose hearts were riven, sore with woe and anguish tried, who in prayer full oft have striven with the God they glorified. Now their painful conflict o'er, God has bid them weep no more. These the Almighty contemplating did as priests before him stand, soul and body always waiting, day and night at his command. Now in God's most holy place, blessed they stand before <coughs> his face. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me, Lord. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me, this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you and the night is as clear as the day. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, <laughs> is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me, Lord. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give my, each man what his conduct deserves. It was you who created my being, knit me in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you, when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw all my actions, they were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. All things were created in him, 
and he holds all things in being. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of his saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body of the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. from the first letter of Peter. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself and a witness to the sufferings of Christ, and with you I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it, not simply as a duty, but gladly because God wants it. Not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example to the whole flock that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He laid down his life for his brothers. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is the faithful and wise steward whom the master placed over his household to give them their measure of food at the proper time. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This is the faithful and wise steward whom the master placed over his household to give them their measure of food at the proper time. Let us pray to Christ the high priest who was appointed to represent us in our relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you've lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. 
in the presence of their brothers and sisters. You anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you've redeemed by your passion. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you, save the faithful departed for whom you laid down your life. of the parish would like to offer a prayer giving thanks for the community at St. Pius on their feast day praying that their faith and witness will grow ever stronger Elizabeth asked we might pray for all students who've received their examination results that they will be guided to choose the direction in which they will utilize their God-given gifts. We pray for all those in our community with mental health problems and for their carers. Elizabeth would also like Ask us to pray for those suffering with Parkinson's and for those supporting them. The news of further recovery, uh, the recovery of further bodies. We pray for those lost their lives and uh, those uh, who mourn them and for all the tragedies that happen at sea. Pray for Terry White. <coughs> that he may rest in peace. And we pray for Hans Ericsson, the father of a family I met at St. Edward's today. Promised that we would keep him and them in our prayers as he died in the last 24 hours. As we come to... <coughs> Come to pray each day for those priests who've gone before us, marked with that sign of faith and who served in the diocese. Maureen invites us to join with her in giving thanks for the many blessings received from those priests who serve at St. Pius, and particularly for Father Brian, later Canon Brian O'Sullivan, whose anniversary is this day. We pray too for Father James Barad on his anniversary, another faithful servant of the diocese. And we pray as a diocese that we may fulfill that call of the bishop to live according to the word who is life. people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call we may bear powerful witness to all around us for you are Lord forever and ever. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you filled Pope St. Pius with wisdom and gave him the strength of an apostle to defend the Catholic faith and to renew all things in Christ. Grant that we may follow his example and teaching and so come to our reward in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you as ever for being part of this ministry. Thank you to Nick, uh, who continues and to make it technically possible. And as we give thanks for the example of Pope St. Pius X, do please remember to celebrate him this evening to tell others of our celebration. I think often uh, we miss out on that witness by celebrating uh, the feasts of the importance that the saints have for us. And may the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us.